Jesus is the answer for the world today. Good morning, family. Um, today we're going to be looking at uh, Psalm 127, the first few verses. So if you turn me Psalm 127, I'll be reading from the Amplified Version of the Bible. Psalm 27, the Song of Ascents of Solomon. Unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman keeps awake in vain. It is vain for you to rise early, to retire late, to eat the bread of anxious labors. But he gives blessings to his beloved even in his sleep. Have you ever, you know, been trying to do something? And I find myself, you know, I, trying to do something and by all accounts, by all logic, by everything, it should work. You know, based on, I don't know, metrics, based on what the world says, based on like just, based on even the experiences of other people, this should work. No reason why it should not. But you keep finding yourself that it's not working. It's not working. And, you know, in moments like that, you know, more often than not, I call it human error. And, you know, my wife knows this. It's like I always think like human error. You know, that's usually the cause. And I find like even with myself, it's usually because of human error. But that ties into the fact that despite the fact that it is human error, there's a portion that's human error in the fact of thinking that we are able to accomplish something except the Lord places his blessing upon. You know, anything we want to do, the, the verse of scripture here says, unless the Lord builds the house, you know, we labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. You know, it's, we can do everything within our, within our power to do, but at times we must recognize, and actually, I'm sorry, all the time we must recognize that God is sovereign. So it is often better to look to the Lord and trust in what he would desire for us to do. That way we know that what we place our hands to do will be prosperous and it will be successful. And the thing is, as I continue to read this and I think about it, unless the Lord builds the house, labor in vain, and unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman keeps awake in vain. And there's a song, I believe, on the Maverick City Elevation Worship uh, album called Build Your Church. And, you know, it's... That song is resonating within my spirit over and over and over again. And it says, upon this rock, you will build your church and the gates of hell will not prevail. And that is the truth. You know, in these times that we find ourselves in, like, you know, we have churches closing left and right. We have trials going on in the church, opening and closing, you know, masks, no masks, you know, the government shuts down, all this stuff. And that's even in the United States. Outside the United States, you know, in places where there's persecution, we have people being persecuted for the name of Christ, being martyred for the name of Christ. But there's a truth that is older than the ages that we must grasp onto. And that is that the Lord will build his church. You know, in the Act, book of Acts, we see and it said the Lord added to the church. It is not something we do. It's not by our metrics, it's not by our plans, it's not by our reasoning that the church will grow. But it's that the Lord will build his church and every part of the body will remain a part of the body. And he will keep his body healthy and fit for his use. And that's where we have to place our rest. You know, where it says that, you know, he gives blessings to his beloved, even in his sleep. That's in verse 2. That when we are resting, even when we are resting, the Lord is working. When we are resting, and when we are trusting in him, we will not be anxious. But we will trust that, Lord, you know what you're doing. So please, build your church. Build it from the ground up. Build your church. And we will trust I say trust in the name of the Lord that he will build his church, whether it's the body at large or whether it's me or you being just a portion of that body. He will build it and he will perfect the building of it in whatever way he sees fit. So we surrender 
to his building because he is the master builder. He is the architect. He is the author. He is the finisher. He is everything. So let us look to the Lord and trust in his leading. And let us, because of that, we will not labor in vain. We will not stay awake and watch in vain. But when he says to labor, we will labor. When he says to watch, we will watch. God bless you. And Lord, build your church.